This weather just won't stop. Day before yesterday, I almost had to turn the air on. It was so hot in here. That night, and now we get a sleet storm last night, and it was a pretty good storm. So, so looky there. Put on some two by sixes. Might be a little tricky getting off of it. But you got really good back, but yeah. It's a mess. The ground isn't too bad though. Okay. Things are falling, you two. Better pull over. Okay, everything's set, ready to go. Turn right. I stayed about a week, YouTubers. I uh, had a good visit with the dogs, taking care of them, and then stayed a couple more days with family. Had some great meals cooked at home, had some great meals out to eat. Nice Lebanese restaurant that was awesome. And my aunt is a really good cook. In one quarter mile, turn left. Had some pad thai and whatever, and co pilot up there by a coffee pot. I think she's ready to go home. It was amazing. It went from 80 one day, the next day had a sleet storm from hell. I mean, at night it was coming down, pelting the RV. Woke up and it was, there was about an inch of sleet slash snow. And then last night it was cold again. It was in the 20s. Now, although the sun looks bright, it is uh, about Turn 40 back. degrees. It's just nuts. It's supposed to warm up in the next couple days, but winter, you won. We give up. Uncle, no moss. Leave us alone. Let's see if I can piss the whole world off. Yep, you're going to have to get on your brakes, dude. In two and a half miles. You'll be fine. Back. I've always, I, uh, you kept me there a little, I stayed a little longer than I had planned, so it's like 5.30, so I'll be driving home in rush hour traffic in Columbus, which is a pain, but I also have the world's greatest neighbor and my uncle's uh, weed eater, gas weed eater, blower, all kinds of different thing, attachments for it isn't working spent an hour this morning trying to get it started. I'll take it to my neighbor and in five minutes he'll have it working great. Those older guys seem to know how to fix everything. Once you get past changing a plug, swapping out gas, that's about the extent of my knowledge. But that's it for now. All this traffic. They just drug me out and fed me uh Quaker steak, wings, which I probably shouldn't have eaten, but I haven't had in a long time, but I really like wings. So I'll go back to tofu and veggie burgers to make up for some good food. The idiot over here is halfway out in the damn street. Put the phone down. Put the phone down. Stop it. Gas prices seem to have gone back down a little bit. Cousin Eddie's got a half a tank. See if it gets any better. We put the uh, we jacked Eddie up a little further on some two by sixes and it's much more comfortable sleeping last night closer to level. It was pretty close. Didn't feel like I was gonna roll out or had had to sleep uphill. But a bipolar a small one. That's where all this traffic is coming from. It's a nightmare. Turn left. 
No, I'm not going that way. I'm going the way I want to go. This turn coming up can be a bit dysfunctional. Quick right and quick left and seven miles of traffic in between. It just depends on how nice people want to be. Usually not very. Turn right, then turn left. It was nice and it worked for two vehicles, mine included. Look through the battlefield and try to turn left up here. And these idiots, they won't. Very few of them will be nice about it. They'll back up and block, block the whole thing even though they don't have anywhere to go. Well, today's a wonderful day. Ran into some nice people right there. Didn't have to wait too awful long. Some of them will just be belligerent. They're either on their phone not paying attention or they're just so frustrated from fighting traffic that they don't want to be nice. In one mile, turn left. Okay, I'm kind of hoping I catch a red light here. I think I will. Because I want to close that bathroom door that, as normal, I forget to latch. Turn left. And I should have time. I got time. There we go. Now the door won't come flying over. We'll be joining the backside of Dysfunction Junction. Anybody knows the area. This is 23. Through parts of this area, it's it's like through town, and then it becomes a highway. And it's, it's merges onto 270 and 315, and if none of these roads mean anything, you're lucky. It's just it's a bunch of stupid people. And it shouldn't be as bad as it is, but people don't, you can't drive anymore. Oh, everybody hold on. Nothing In fell. one half mile, exit right. I will, if I can. That's my goal. Six o'clock wasn't a good idea. <laughs> I should have left earlier or later. One of the two. Funny story, I don't know if you can see that, but back there is some seminary school that rumor has it, and rumor that I think is true, is that if the Pope ever has to bug out of the Vatican, this is one of his locations he may come and hide. I don't foresee that ever happening, but for any fellow Catholics out there, it'd be cool if the Pope showed up. But I don't think this is where the Pope wants to hang out, not by any stretch. But there's that. <laughs> I always complain about Columbus, but another gee whiz fact, Columbus is now the biggest city in Ohio. It's bigger than both Cleveland and Cincinnati. In Ohio, there's construction all the time. Uh, sometimes it looks like it needs to be even more. I don't know where my sunglasses are. Oh well. I only got about, I got a two mile stretch here of usually extra stupid. Junction, not as bad on this side, but the other side is always backed up. Terrible accidents all the time. It's just, it's, it's insane. And, and here we're back at a whole bunch more stupid. I always find it amazing when you get to all this congestion. What you find causes it is usually just nothing. It's just people being dumb. But when I'm in Cousin Eddie here in the RV, I don't drive the same way I do in my car. I'm a lot more relaxed and just 
go with the flow as opposed to getting irritated and changing three lanes of traffic every two minutes. Let's hope we don't stop and get hit. I'll just be patient and deal with it. Okay, we're through most of the stupid stuff. I'm doing a whopping uh, 63 miles an hour. I think it's turned to 70 here, but I'm trying to draft this semi. Again, I'm closer than it looks in the camera. And there's enough traffic that I shouldn't be pissing him off at. I move over every now and then so he can see me in his rear view. But, trying to save a little MPGs to be easy on, be easy on Cousin Eddie. I don't feel the need to be doing 75 miles an hour in this guy all the time. Especially when he needs two new sneakers and uh, probably could use an oil change. Oh, but it's a nice day. It's not as warm as it looks, though. It's crazy. Have a great and wonderful day.